Today, I'm going to show you how to switch out the barrels on the, with the new Crown and the Superlight uh, barrel system, and also how to switch out the liners in the Superlight barrels. First thing we do is make sure that the gun's not loaded, it's not cocked, that's a good sign, but we'll go ahead and fire it into our uh, duct seal there. Uh, so now we're, we're good and safe. So you have two uh, Allen uh, grub screws here. We've got two little grub screws to take your Allen wrench and uh, loosen them up. This is a three millimeter Allen wrench. And I like to loosen them up pretty generously so that I don't have to worry at all about them nicking the O-rings on the barrel as it comes out. You've got two on the other side and do this same thing. You don't have to take them out all the way, but pull them out uh, you know, pretty far there. Now you can just uh, pull this barrel straight up, nice and gentle, and set it aside. Now, we take our other barrel. These O-rings are looking a little dry to me, so I'm gonna put just a touch of uh, silicone grease on them. You don't need much, just a little, little film on top of there. And on the back one, I'm not getting any of that transfer port or anything like that, just a little bit on the O-ring. Now, I take and uh, insert the barrel, but first I'm gonna show you uh, you can see right here above the transfer port, you've got this little tiny notch. And uh, that's what's going to index the barrel. You'll feel it as it settles into place, so pay attention for that. Now we take and drop, put this in. I'm making sure I'm putting it in nice and straight, wiggle it a little bit, and, uh, and then move it. Now I can feel that it's locked in place. It won't rotate. Uh, I know I'm in the right spot. Now these screws come in from either side and lock that barrel in place and you want to get them nice and centered. So I, I like to hold the barrel up like this, that way it's not got, you know, it's not leaning to one side or another. And this way it'll naturally want to settle into its uh, right spot. And now holding the Allen wrench like this nice and loose, I just screw in these until they stop. I'm not putting any pressure on them. I'm just getting them, you know, so I know where they're at. We'll do the same thing over here and now I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up a little bit so so just uh, we'll use this uh, just a little bit of a tighten there snug it up a little bit on the other side move down do the same thing and now you can go ahead and tighten them up you don't need a lot of pressure I don't have you know an inch pound recommendation for you but they don't need to be really tight just just snug so uh, we'll go ahead and Tighten these up and get the rear ones also. And now we're done. That's all there is to it to switch out uh, the barrel on your crown. And now you can see that I don't have to remove the scope or anything. I will probably have to confirm my zero. I might have to side it in, I'll, but it should be uh, you know, pretty close. Uh, now we're going to replace uh, the barrel liners. I've got it comes with the pellet liner A. I'm going to put the slug liner A into it. So the first thing to do is just unscrew the shroud here. Okay, now that's loose. And now I just kind of keep twisting it a little bit and, uh, and pull it off. You've got threads right here uh, that you just have to kind of twist them and work them off a bit. Now I've done this before, <coughs> and I haven't noticed any shifts with these uh, central spacers here. But I did have this one moving on me, so I've just put a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of tape on either side of it <coughs> to lock it into place, and then I know where it goes, and I don't have to worry about it coming on and off. The placement on these really isn't uh, super critical. Uh, you know, you can try spacing with different things and playing with the harmonics and see if you get uh, different results. And we'd love to hear about that as far as that goes. But uh, just basically get them pretty much spaced out along here. And uh, now you can see that down here, this is where the super light system, well, obviously you can see that this is all completely different if you're familiar with previous crown barrels. Uh, the shroud is... Uh, is basically the barrel housing. You have the barrel liner and these spacers. Uh, but what really makes a difference here uh, 
is how solid this lockup is. This looks similar to previous uh, crown barrels, but this doesn't move. This stays locked into place here. It's extremely rigid, really sturdy, and uh, that's what provides a lot of that uh, initial rigidity here. So to get this uh, barrel out, I have to take this uh, and loosen up this nut here. Now I take my 15 millimeter Allen wrench and I just start loosening that up. Now actually I should show you, I'm gonna, uh, let, me, let me go back right where I was here. Now take a good look because you'll notice that it's not flush to begin with. Okay, that, so when we're going to put that nut back in, don't, don't think you have to get it all the way down here. It, it starts out with a gap and it's going to have that gap, that's the way it's designed. So don't just keep cranking on it till, until you get it flush there. So we go and loosen this up. And now I can probably do it there, well maybe. Keep her going here. Okay, got that thing loose, and now I can just pull gently and straight, giving a little bit of a twist. I can pull that liner all the way out now. What you see down here are uh, five O rings. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this at this point. You can take a picture, uh, you can measure, or you can just get the, your new barrel liner here, line it up, and just go ahead and mark it with a pencil so you know where you want those to line up. So I've got those lined up. I'm going to go ahead and just mark out where these spacers were. And Okay, now I've got this mark of where I want the O-rings to end up. And actually, I'm going to mark it on the other side so I don't erase it as I push those O-rings along. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull these O-rings off because I need to get... Um, this nut on first. So now that I've got that nut on, I can go ahead and put these O-rings on. Now I'm just going to get a little bit of silicone grease that I'm going to wrap around the base here, make this easier to slide them along and just get some on my fingers so it kind of gets on the O-rings as I put them on here. Go ahead and just slide that up there. They go on nice and easy. And we'll put a link in the description, or I'll put it in, in the description. I'll give you the size of these O-rings. So if you need to replace them at some point, it's, you can do that. Okay, now I've got uh, my lock nut on here and I've got these spacers here. My line is, uh, you know, where I wanted them is right about there, and I'm going to leave it like that uh, and for reasons I'll show you in a minute. Basically, I just want to make sure I get that thing, that barrel seated in uh, all the way in properly before I lock it in. Uh, these, once I put that screw in and tighten it down, it'll, it'll go ahead and shift these where they need to be pretty much uh, by itself. So all of this is basically just a rough reference point, uh, but I'm going to have them a little bit up there so I can make sure that barrel goes, uh, the barrel liner goes in properly. Okay, now I go ahead and put on my uh, spacers here. Push that one down about there. So I think I'm going to put that one down a little lower. That one right about there. And this one right up here. Now at this point, I could go ahead and put tape around these if I wanted to. Like I say, this one, because even on the slug barrel, you have a slight choke, uh, they tend to 
you know, it tends to come off a little bit that way. So you can put a little bit of tape on that side, keep it in place. Uh, I'm not going to do that just to keep this video nice and short. Okay, I've got my slug liner all prepped here. And now I just insert it into the, into the, the breech here now. Uh, so I ins insert it in nice and, uh, nice and gently and straight. These liners are actually extremely tough. Uh, they're really resilient and, and uh, you know, it is hard to bend them, but, you know, still, uh, you know, be gentle and take care. Uh, now, uh, you can hear that that metal, uh, that click there, that's, that's the liner setting into the breech here. So now I can go ahead and push this down. That's seated into the threads, I think. Is it? Yep. And now, as I tighten this up, it's going to compress those O-rings and, and lock everything into place here. Go as far as I can with my finger, and then we'll just uh, tighten this up the rest of the way. Now again, you don't need to go crazy on this. Uh, just, just snug it up right about there. I'm feeling like that's, you know, putting a fairly decent amount of pressure on it and it's not going. I'm not cranking on it. Again, I've got a short wrench here so I don't uh, put a ton of pressure and we're locked into place. Again, you can see there's a, you know, considerable space there so it's not going to set flush. Now, I just put uh, the shroud back on, kind of twisting it and working it over that first o-ring it's wanting to follow along so i'm just going to push it up like that and do the same thing right here to help it get over and get past those threads and tighten it up here make sure it's nice and snug and there you have it